By the time this video drops, Settlers of Kalgor will be hours away. I can't believe it, but it's here and I'm so excited. But I wanted to create this video for two reasons. Number one, just share what this experience has been for me with trying to pick a league starter. And then also at the end of the video, I'm going to reveal what my league starter is going to be for Settlers of Kalgor. Uh, before we get into it, though, I do want to say that a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to hit the subscription button, I would really appreciate your support. Now, this has been a grueling process for me. I have to say, this has been the most in-depth review that I've done for any league uh, in Path of Exile. I literally have spent the last past week scouring the internet, reviewing builds. I created a couple of videos on that process where we reviewed a lot of the builds that I was considering. And in the last week, I have been prepping for 3.25 by trying out not all of these builds, but some of these builds. And just to give you an idea of some of the league starters that I was looking at, I was looking at the Bone Shatter Juggernaut by Jorgen, the Necromancer Bama from Waffles Loves ARPG. I was looking at the Peripherate Slayer by Toden, and of course, the infamous Righteous Fire by Pox, the RF God himself. And I got to be honest with you, uh, I've played Righteous Fire many times, and I have a very short PoE career. Like, if you watch my content, you already know this, but if you're new, I only started playing Path of Exile 3.2 won the crucible league and even even with that every league i think the most i ever played was like four weeks and i actually missed one of the uh leagues and also necropolis i i really just played for like a week so my experience level is really low but righteous fire has been a mainstay in a lot of the leagues that i have played in i love this build but for 3.25 i would love to go back to it because I know it's going to be good. However, I want to try different builds. But uh, I just wanted to mention Ray Fire, Righteous Fire has a special place in my heart because I've played it so much. But we looked at it nonetheless. And then we looked at the Cyclone of Tumult by K2 Gaming. I also looked at Lightning Arrow Elemental Hit of Spectrum uh, from Cyclone Definitive and Explosive Arrow Champion by Zizaran and Archimage Frostbolt Ice Nova from Garath. And of course, another god, Gazi TV. I couldn't have not thrown this into the possibility of builds that I was going to look for for League Starters. Everyone was asking me about Minion. So we looked at the Zoomancer, Necromancer. So these are some of the builds that I tested, played through, and reviewed. And I have to say, there's uh, the one thing Path of Exile doesn't lack is the options of builds and play styles so it was really tough like i said this was a grueling week unbelievable the amount of time that i put into researching these builds and deciding for myself what build am i going to start with the leak starter because at the end of the day some of the priorities just so uh, you're aware some of the priorities that I have going into 3.25 is obviously I want to try the new mechanics in the game. And with Settlers of Kalgor, obviously creating a town, hiring people, sh you know, shipments and receiving shipments and ship routes and all that kind of stuff uh, that looks like Settlers of Kalgor is going to be very interesting. The fact that we can now earn in-game gold currency is great the fact that the trading is there's now a trading system in game these are all things that i have to say really hit with me personally these are all mechanics in games that i love especially you know building a base and in the case of poe it's going to be building a town and receiving and sending shipments and hiring and firing and getting people to mine for you run maps for you like this is all intriguing to me. So I'm really looking forward to it. That is probably 
what I'm going to spend a lot of my time in 3.25 doing. Of course, we got to do the maps. I don't know whether or not I want to get into uh, tackling the pinnacle bosses. That's really low on my priority list. Just so you know, going into, just in case you happen to come by and watch one of my streams. By the way, come check me out. We're going to be streaming POE 3.25 Settlers of Kalgor every evening, uh, 7, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, PM, uh, on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Please come over, say hello. We'd love to have you. We have a cool, chill community. Okay, so let's get into what League Starter I picked. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So after a lot of deliberation and changing my mind a hundred times, <laughs> I'm going to go with the crit lightning strike warden. Um, there's many alterations out there and I'm still, I'm not going to lie. I'm still filtering through which POB I'm going to be following. And again, I don't make any of the builds. I don't have the knowledge to be able to create uh, builds from scratch. So of course, we're going to be following a build guide. Uh, P.O.B. Crit, Lightning Strike, Warden. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the Ranger and then we're going to hopefully benefit from all this hype around the Warden Ascendancy. So we'll see. Now, during this process, I got to admit, I was waffling back and forth between Warden and Slayer. I've gotten a lot of information in the last 48 hours about the pros and cons to both, uh, we had a really good debate about it on stream, on my last stream, and a lot of the experienced Path of Exile players chimed in and told me basically the core differences between the Warden and the Slayer. And it sounds like, again, just motherhood statements, sounds like the Slayer is going to be a little bit more tankier and the Warden is going to be a little bit OP uh, when it comes to damage, but squishier um, when it comes to being squishy health-wise. So that's kind of what I've managed to scrape up as far as information. So I'm going to stick to my guns. I've been testing the Ranger. Obviously, you can't test the Warden Ascendancy. It's not in the game yet, um, but uh, I really like the play style. It's quick. It's going to be a quick mapper. Uh, again, I am concerned about the squishiness and especially probably my number one priority uh, in this league is going to be ramping up my town and building it to be the oasis of towns in all of the towns in uh, Calgore. Uh, it's going to be the Jeff Bezos town. At least that's my intentions. So like GGG has stated, the more popular and the bigger your town get, that's a good thing. But the bad thing is word gets out and we're going to be attacked and we have to defend our town. Um, so this is where I'm a little bit concerned. But again, we have no idea how difficult these bosses are going to be that coming in and potentially uh, taking our workers, taking our shipments. We don't know how gold is earned and at what rate and how much it's going to take what the bribery is going to be like the ransom how costly that's going to be um so these are all things that we're going to have to juggle around but that is my concern that uh, i won't be able to defend my town effectively but i'm going to take the risk i'm going to stick to my guns and we're going to do the ranger warden build with the crit lightning arrow and i'm looking forward to it it was fun to test it out, of course, again, not through the, I can test the warden. Um, so I like the play style kind of is my niche. I like it. So we're going to stick to it. We'll see how it goes. And look at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, we can always start again and, uh, you know, course correct appropriately crit lightning strike ranger warden is going to be my league starter for 3.25. There you go. I said it. Now I got to stick to it. Um, so please come over and watch me on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. We'd love to have you. And it's here, boys and girls. It's here. Settlers of Kalgor is finally here. I wish you all the drops that you want. I hope you get all the loot that you want. I hope 
most importantly, I hope you have fun in 3.25 Settlers of Calgore. I know I'm planning on too. So we'll all see you there. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.